Well, hello everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Is a mug the two Drakir at your service. Hey, hold on, hold on. What? <laughs> All <something>. right. <laughs> Give me a sec on that. And uh, hello there, Pizza. How are you do? Oh, you, you already answered that ahead of time because you knew I'd ask. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I think uh, it was too well now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there. Uh, <laughs> just shove that on for a second. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let's see, I'm going uh, to seven missions. Mm -hmm. Or you have not seen the game at the moment. Uh, when? Right. There oh, right. Are. I forgot. Where? Always on top. Needs, needs to put that on. Is that still? <clears throat> uh, but yeah, uh, welcome back to a post on which, well, we got started the last week on. And, well, we've already put, what, two gods in the figurative grave? <laughs> Well, actually, no, we did bed. one. We drunk, well, we didn't drink one under the table. No one drinks Dionysus under the table, but we drunk everyone else under the table. <laughs> it's a very big table. <laughs> uh, let's see. To the term, great, just seven mentions left till Long Hogwarts Legacy is finished. Didn't have time the entire day, so we'll be doing it now. So you guys go live, so I thought I'd pop in to lurk and just talk here and there. Yeah, when I get to know people, I can predict what they say most of the time. And surprisingly, you are still my head voice in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's continue on. Last time, we hunted Artemis down, and we were... Uh... Uh, come on. Why are you not... Uh, okay. I... Uh, yeah, we were busy overthrowing Apollo. Uh, yeah, let's turn that on. There we go. Uh, come on, game. Why are you not so... Sp okay, that, cha that changed up the controls on this. But... Wait, was I using the controller last time or not? I, I, um... I, th I think I wasn't, so let's just... Okay, there. Probably best since there needs to be some precise aiming here and there. Okay, let me turn this thing off just to be extra sure. And let's see. Uh, well, what the gods have you taken down as of yet? Uh, we hunted down Artemis, quite literally. So, uh, we haven't defeated Apollo yet, but we did. He did. Um, Throw some Greek fire at him, I got sent to jail. <laughs> yeah, and now we're working to, well, undermine him so we can take him out. But before we can do that... Before we need yeah, can do that, we need to get rid of his... Oh. Let's break these, because they seem important. We need to get rid of some of his lieutenants. And, well, steal the freaking chariots. And this is about solar sleep. I think I heard a different version, but is it one of the version of Apollo's chariot being pulled by griffins? Not sure on that. Ooh, blast arrows. These ingenious arrows carry small sizes of blasting dust resulting in spectacular effects. Yeah. Okay, let's take this big ass shield. Oh, oh, oh I guess <laughs> that's going to ruin someone's day. Uh oh. Uh, let's see. Would like to see Aphrodite and Artemis. Uh, Artemis we've already dealt with, so sorry on that, Pizza. Not so sure if we'll see Aphrodite. Should be on YouTube, I'm, I'm... though, that video. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, we definitely ruined their day for sure, yeah? Okay. Uh, oh, even more <laughs> places to ruin someone's day with. Okay, give me these. Uh, no thanks with that. Yeah, I would not be surprised if we fight Ares. Yeah, well, well, he is the god of war, so this, the only solution that will work with him is likely to compete him in battle. So these things assist them somehow, I'm presuming. Okay. 
Stoa of Apollo, which is blocked. Oop. Oop. Wait. Oh no. <laughs> For a moment I thought is did my shield break, but no, I was hold I'm holding a bloody torch, so of course I have no shields. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, three captains to kill, so they don't interfere in our fights with the big man himself. Yeah, shut up. Don't care about your destroy because I'm the one currently destroying you. Okay. Break each and every one of these. Patron of beauty and reason. Grant me balance in this fight. You, you think? Oh, that, that's one of those sentinels. Oh, it does look like one of those serving uh, thingies. Okay, this guy is pretty tough. He, he is a captain, so he needs to be tough. Sort of that. Oh, okay. Luckily, that also locks them not, uh, others out of here. I think he was going to drink something there, but nope. Yep. Okay, now I'm just, just quite literally throwing everything at the wall <laughs> at him. There we go. Give me all of that again. Okay. You should have a heroic one uh, somewhere. Yeah, I'm, I want to try and save that. And uh, yes, <laughs> I was <laughs> literally throwing everything. <laughs> uh, oh, they every, bring something in chat. Okay, uh, let's see. Geez, by the way, have you seen the recent stuff going on with Twitch? Uh, the, the, sec the sexual content stuff that they put out that they were going to loosen only to immediately retract all of that again. Uh, yeah, they, t they totally didn't think that through, huh? I don't mind if they loosen a little bit. Just depending on on what areas and how. Like it, I know it depends highly on context. Yeah. Okay, uh, it's normal arrow, and I guess yeah. they did it in a very unsmart way that it became uh, escalated uh, a week quicker than I expected. Lockpick shield breaker. Possessing the strength of Her <clears throat> Heracles, not Hercules, Heracles. This iron bound club can shatter shields with a single blow. Okay, we're definitely keeping that around then. Let's see from Pizza Lover. Yeah, they have unbanned so many of the. YouTubers and people who were originally banned. That's good, actually. For well, I think I heard many of them were banned for a bit of a... For stupid reasons? Yeah, or like... Like taking the non-sexual code a bit too far, like they were a bit... quick on jumping the gun, so to say. So many of those probably I am happy for got unbanned. Let's see. make one of those. Yeah, just making sure that I'm not over full on stuff. But yeah, I from, I did hear that at least one. VTuber was intentionally seeking the border on it though by just going with a fully. Uh, half uh, fully topless avatar, but to punish everyone for the stupidity of one idiot, yeah, that's just asking for problems. Yeah. <clears throat> Open up. Move my keyboard around a little bit, or I almost Apollo press button for reaching my mug. Zeus. Bring fire to my arrows to pierce any shield. Yeah, speaking of shields, it's a nice one you have over there. Yeah. 
Jeg kan ikke løsne. Jeg er lige setting up a trap. Steal with you quickly. Also, let's not forget to break that, so we can actually damage. There we go. Okay. And what have we in here? Just a few coins. Uh, let's see. It seems now that every uh, pro, uh, yeah, every platform is either in ruins or going in ruins. Uh, sadly, that is the, often the case with stuff like this, that it'll just get bigger than they can actually handle, or care to handle, but they, they, yeah, they, they just get lazy, and things start falling apart because of that. Or oh, they go a bit too hard with things, instead, like, no middle ground. And I feel like it's almost a bit everything, not just platforms, just... A lot is going on. Yeah. Oop. Aim for the eyes. So when people say the uh, society will collapse in 10 years, I'm not gonna say they are right, but I do not blame them for thinking that. Oop. But I can I totally understand why people do think that the world is about to end at some point soon. <laughs> Even though I don't support the idea. Okay, that was a sentinel with explosive arrows, I think. Uh-oh. Okay. And we found a new axe to play around with. So, yeah, I'm just going to stick with the spears for breaking stuff, because then I can just hit multiple things at once. Uh, what have we here? A little hidden area? Statuette for some coin. And something that we can use up. Yeah, I, I probably sh I probably should drink one of these before heading into the room of the last captain. Because consumables are, well, literally meant to be consumed. Okay, I should keep an eye out for crack something walls. There. Uh, something to go boom? Yeah, but that just leads back to where we already... Well, came from. So it's, it, it, it would just be a shortcut. I'm more interested in what's further down this hidey hole. Like extra armor. Okay, most of that is going to decay. Oh, even more here. Blast arrow, hoplite duo. Okay, but we should at least have some use of that if we run into something. Spear of the Carries. Hanging between worlds, this haunted spear passes right through the flesh of the living. Pierces multiple targets. Okay, that will be useful against groups. Holy. So, yeah, definitely worth it to go exploring in this game, huh? And the third, the ice that feels like way, way too small of a target to aim for. Yeah, definitely. Okay, another repair kit. That depends what the target is. Let's grab the axe. Hello, wise one. Your oracles force clear thought upon the desperate. I praise and honor you. Okay, uh... Actually, let's use one of these wolf dusts for some assistance. Break that. And break you. Yes. Uh, is alone. You, you can ask. I think. Yep. Did you just slap me in the ass there? Okay. Wait, right, this one is actually okay. <laughs> Better shield as well. Uh, let's see, what is over this way, or is it just going back? Yeah, yeah, this is just going back, okay. But yeah, feel free to ask, uh, uh pizza. Okay. 
Hmm, might there be something on the roof here or something, seeing as we can get onto it? Let's see. Oh, yep. Okay, more blast arrows and a drop of radiance. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the light aura potion. Speaking of potions. Uh, yeah, flask of warding. Need to keep those in mind. Okay. The question. From Pizza Lover 3000. Let's say you were put into combat scenario with multiple enemies. Say maybe a zombie apocalypse or a room and Coliseum. Is the spell there? What would you choose? What would your choice of what would be between a sword and a ha hammer? Mm, I'd personally say the sword because that can also be used more defensively. Because you can block. <laughs> that wasn't a soldier. So, like, both are good. Because as quick the, the enemy has some form of armor or shield, you want a hammer. But so it is easy to carry around an excellent against on un an armored foes. But as quick as a armor, you will, you probably want a hammer at that case. Well, probably. Actually, in, if I could, I probably would pick both. Let's see. That said, to find Daphne. Okay. Aim for the eye. Hey. <laughs> This is just our bonking axe, isn't it? <laughs> uh, let's see. Both can be of any king or oh, kind. Like great swords to curved swords or hammers of any kind. Say great hammer, maybe a mallet. Uh, I think I'd, you know, I'd probably still go with a medium-sized seal, uh, not sealed sword. Yeah, actually, yeah, I would probably go with a hammer and a shield. Yeah, then I can be defensive, and whenever I move into strike, it's gonna hurt a lot on the foe. Okay. Okay, I, th I thought you were leading more towards uh, uh, a two-handed hammer. With, uh, but th that is more typical what you think, but I, I think you might be closer towards a, a, a mace of sorts. Wait, the L one had hammers. Yeah, there's a lot Those less are common. Hammers. Oh, they actually one-handed worms are way more common than two-handed. At least in historical mm. context. Yeah, but typically when you think of them, it becomes yeah, you see the two-handed mostly. Uh, hello yeah. there. What? Hello. Fuck off, you. There. Okay. Uh, okay, what was with that light bit? And yeah, as for my reasoning, swords tend to be more of a middle-of-the-way thing. Uh, between just outright power and, uh, and defensive capability. Okay. It's easy to carry around. Yeah. For me, I, I would probably prefer hammer for like if I'm in a coliseum, there's a chance my foes will have some form of armor or very heavy armor. Then a hammer would be very helpful to deal with that armor. Yeah. And uh, racers, the, arrows. And yeah, a smash it, a swing a hammer and break it the bones. Mm. Will give me most of our ability. But I'm not gonna say the swords are not useless, just. They were, again, most of the history used as a back weapon or civil use weapon, like when you want to walk on a dark night and such. Since, yeah, so easier to carry around. Mm, yeah, with, with sword, for me, it's also with sword. Uh, it's also that uh, you can stab uh, a lot easier with <clears throat> with the swords. Like you, you can slash, you can uh, thrust, uh, whatever here. Let's see. When Apollo was pursuing the virgin Daphne, daughter of the rivers Pen and Penus, she begged for protection from Gaia, who received her and changed her into her laurel tree. 
Apollo broke a branch from it and placed it on his head. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, consent is really uh, not much of a concept among the Greek gods, huh? Yeah. Uh, again, when I learned more, about, more and more about the original story about Medusa, it was probably the first time I actually disliked Athena and Poseidon. Yeah. I, I knew I, I disliked Poseidon a little bit from the story, more learned about it, but when I knew, learned about Athena's rule in it, Ah. Uh. Now the statue came alive, and now we now the fucker had her planted in his garden, and actively guarded by animated statues. No, oh, he died from fall damage. It, there we go. Smash you up. Now there was another Please. jar of water over right here. Ow. I will not take fall damage. I don't know if this uh, actually was a, a weapon used in history much, but I would probably want to use a weaponized one-handed Amax. Okay. Uh, I hope you know what it is. A hammer and an axe? Yeah, you have a one hammer and uh, instead of a spike, you have an axe uh, blade. It's kind of... sounds actually useful. Damn it. Broke that far away from her. Uh, let's see, pizza lover. I would personally pick a sword too, but I have most. Uh, I have most because a fan uh, of an axe and a hammer is like a. It's an axe, and the other side is. <laughs> okay, apparently he likes ham axes as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I agree with pizza lover. Yeah. Zeus is the worst culprit in those things. Yeah, we said this last time as well. If it, if Zeus if if Zeus had been castrated at the beginning of Greek mythology, then uh, or at least had his uh, yeah, libido cut off, then uh, then Greek mythology would be closer to a pamphlet than what it is nowadays, or what it is now, or what is known of it now at least. Yeah. Ooh. Sure, I, I think it has happened to some gods. Just unsure if it happened in Greek mythology, though. Yep. Even more of you coming alive. And I'm, I'm presuming you mean uh, a god getting castrated on that? I think, I think that has happened to a Greek god. I just don't remember which one. Probably at least one, but if, I'm presuming it didn't happen much because that would be like an ultimate insult and will cut off any uh, more future mythology uh, slash fanfic that people could write about it. Because in a way, mythology can be seen as the original fanfics. <laughs> Thank you, Especially with how many different I stories there are in the no Greek ones and certain things. Ah, Apollo, even in this wooden armor, I cannot escape his lechery. When I was a naiad, he pursued me in the forest. Just before I fell prey to his lust, I prayed for mercy and was transformed into this laurel tree. Then what does he do? He tears me from the earth and plants me in his private gardens. Every day he comes to caress my branches. I am forever sick of his leering face and spidery fingers. Yeah. An enemy of Apollo is clearly an ally of mine. Take this ward, an echo of Helios's brilliance. Though he may think otherwise, Apollo does not command all that is bright in this world. Sun Disc. Blessed by Helios, this brilliant shield emanates the warmth of the sun, grants a light aura. Okay. So, torches just became obsolete, and... Okay, it's like the fifth time that I fell down there. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything else for us to find around here? Let's see. It, yeah, Bizarre, it's definitely that. Like, having many Greek gods uh, are g guilty of that crime. Yeah. And speaking of gods of death, 
Uh, there is some theory that Dionysus used to be a pagan god of death before he got integrated into Greek uh, mythology. Uh, Wait, what? Yep. Uh, Overly Sarcastic that's... Productions had a whole uh, video about that. I'm going to have to check that. that, that that's hard to believe, considering what we know him for now. Yeah. And also, the, the reason I call uh, I call Greek, myth uh, Greek mythology some of the uh, world's first uh, <laughs> myth uh, fan fiction is because there are just, on a, a bunch of things, there are just so many different stories that often even conflict about things, I believe. Like Medusa's story, I think there's like six or seven different versions or so. I think it might be more. And yeah, there are many horny gods in all uh, mythologies. Do some take uh, those harassments more serious than others? Yeah. Okay. Like, I think that I think there are some Norse gods that will outright punish you for doing those acts. Yeah. With, uh, when you do something without consent, sense. Uh... Yeah, I think I remember right, Norse really took it serious let's see free the solar as they have the solar steeds and uh, let's see another stele apollo also slew marcis the son of olympus or olympus this fellow had come upon the flute which athena had thrown away because it made her face misshapen and he proceeded to face apollo in a musical a musical contest it was decided that the winner could do whatever he wanted with the loser. During the contest, Apollo played Lyre in a reverse position and invi uh, yeah, invited Marcius uh, to do the same. But Marcius was incapable of this feat, and so Apollo won. He finished off Marcius by hanging him from a lofty pine and flaying him. Of course. Hmm. Are there just no enemies around for me to ruin their day with this oil flask? Or well, flask is an entire... Oh, hello there! It's an entire vase full. Or you set the fire on yourself? Only a little bit. And worth it, uh, just like firebombing Apollo. Oh god. But, yeah. As I said, there are many holy gods in all mythologies, just each mythology handle it very different than... Have any different views on those things? Yeah. And do again. Even though the mythology have very views of it, doesn't mean that, like there, there will always be people who breaks them regardless. Yeah. Let's see. I need another victim. It... Okay, I'll gladly set myself on fire, not to have to deal with the bloody dogs. <laughs> Holy... Okay. More loot. Okay, uh, wait, there's one of these again. Uh, yeah, flask of warding. And I really should... I really should keep in mind to use these. Okay. Yeah. But over, overall, if I were to... If I were there for an actual loot... For a real-life combat situation, I probably would pick a spear over much of anything else. Because, well, they're... They, you can use them to defend, and you can slash and stab with them, though it takes longer to slash with them, of course. And you can actually keep people at bay with either end. Yeah, it, it has a good... Here's the but the, the, that's a very good spear. It's quick to learn with it. Like... Swords will take you quite a long time to learn and must gain all the mus muscle memories for. But with a spear? Yeah, it's just point and poke. Yeah, like you, you will still do perfect and know, know how to hold it properly and all that, but. I think, I think someone. Oh, I don't remember the. How about it? I forgot who said this. But it almost said. Uh, uh, you can get a skilled swordsman after five, ten years. You might be have a battle ready spearman within uh, one or two weeks. And I just had a silly thought. Oop, let's not use the most expensive stuff. Uh, 
point and poke is also something you could use to describe point and clicks, or just as a different name for them. Oh, good God. Okay, stand still and let me poke you with a farmer's fork. Uh, Bident. Yeah. Okay. Well, is it called Bident here? Yeah, it's called the farmer's fork. Okay, that's okay. That's a mistake with the developers. A fork has needs to have four points. Oh, that's what makes it a fork. You oop, gets blasting arrows. Shut up. Come here. Come here and take your poking. And of course they run right into the range of that. Okay, actually just screw all of you. I'm releasing the ponies. Because that's what we're here for. I okay, got you cornered. Okay, now it's getting a bit few much of them. They still have plenty of healing items. Hmm. I don't know who these are. are. Are these immortals as well, or are they worshippers of Apollo? I'm presuming they're just uh, minor gods, hardly even divine, that I act as, or just outright creations. <laughs> I still got one of them, at least, in the blast there. Okay, give me that. I remember something. Hmm? If I remember right, at least in some versions of the Greek mythology, again, some versions, humanity have existed three times. Okay. And the current ones are the third. But the other two ones, Zeus destroyed, for he was very displeased by them for their unmoral behavior. Hello, cattle. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying. <laughs> but the other way around, it's the pot killing the cattle back. Yeah, but apparently they have made them before. But also there was all of some part of before the version where they are just outright. I just feel like, what the heck is this? Like apparently, in one of the version. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm un uncomfortable to say this one, but it's just so... It's just so dumb. It's... Like, apparently one of the version... <laughs> one of the gods created women to distract the uh, uh, human men. From conquering only... So, something else, I just looked at what... Uh, Something what? stupid. Yeah, you can see why I, I just thought that was stupid. But yeah. Again, the, the, there are many wisdoms in mythologies, but also stupidity as well. Definitely. Uh, let's see. Pizza. I mean, Greek mythology isn't just the horniest mythology take Norse with Loki. So we've just been looking at the list of some of the gods of death, and wow, uh, the god of death of my religion, well, she is something. <laughs> I knew a little about it, but not what I found out. Okay, what did you find out then? Yeah, not oh. taking that thing. Of course you're bringing her up. I actually watched a video about some of those gods recently. Okay, this way oh. to go kick Apollo's ass. So, my knowledge of Hindu religion is very rusty. Okay. And I know, to, I know the perfect way to uh, greet him again. That's a dead end. The wrath of the illuminator shall burn. Yes, yes, shut up and burn yourself. Yep. Yep. Sit still. Uh, yeah, how what pizza? <laughs> you, you told us 
You told what was you were from, you're from India. <laughs> you, you or Marco? And yeah, the, the majority of people, the majority of people over there are Hindu, so it would be a bit. It's a bit of an easy one plus one. Yeah. Oh yeah, they have Muslims as well over there. Like most time I hear about India, that is that's the majority yeah. of the religion I hear about. Hinduism and such. I I do know there are other religions there. Just yeah, most people speak about Hinduism and Buddhism over there. Yep. Okay. Like a, a ninety percent chance thing. Oh, hello there. You can try that again once you manage to collect yourself <laughs> two kilometers that way. <laughs> yeah, but in this case, Pizza Lover, I think it's more of I just... Well, yeah, I just outright guessed right, apparently. Let's see, before we head on over to our liar playing asshole, let's just quickly loot his place. Hydrofangs. Another drop of radiance. Okay. Wait, 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 I'm gonna read that. 40 plus religion? Okay. I did not know that. Let's see. War arrows, burning blades. Okay. An intense enchanted flame licks the edge of this glowing sword. Enemies are ignited and 20 damage. Like, if. You, you have to admit, like, burning blades are one of the most cliché, yet awesome things in, well, basically anything to do with fantasy, huh? Yeah, and I actually watched a video about it, and... Shadow vs. did some tests that they realized... Some people actually said, oh, yes, the British will just right and heal the wound. They turned and realized, no, it will not seal the wound at all. It will be extremely painful! And cut to the bone and all. Yeah. And, and it will not it... heal the wound shot. It will be actually a permanent fire scar of the worst kind. Have some more to craft. Let's see. Wolf dust. Flask. Wait, what? And uh, let's see. The, the, uh, yeah, but let's, oh. uh, so you might know about her since she is called Kali and also referred to as Kali Ma, Ma meaning mother. Uh, Ukraine also made fun of our country too for some apparent reason by using Kali Ma. It's also, yeah, I, I, I know about Kali and I also know that the representation or of the worshippers of her, like shown in like a Indiana Jones and which one was it? Temple of Doom, I think. Uh, yeah. The, the, from what I remember with Kali, it is that she is both a destroyer, but also a creator. So she's a bit of a bipolar character on that. Have you no patience for a slow death? I ought to flay every last one of those inept guards for letting you traipse about like that. A pity you already put them to the sword. Well, now you have your audience with the God of the Sun. The god of flawless music. The god of glorious civilization itself. And there you slouch. A sweaty, dirty creature in the shape of a god. Uncivilized, undeserving, unenlightened. Alone in the dark. Yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He, he's just he's just chucking out the explosives at mass. And... Yeah, and also for, about the movie of Indiana Jones in Temple Doom. It's a good movie, but I never used it as a lesson in uh, about culture in India. For I knew it was just a movie. Yeah, sit still, you pompous asshole. Also, the fact that he's the god of the sun makes him really easy to find in the darkness. Since even without the light, his arrogance would light up the place like a freaking bonfire. Oh, gods. Yeah, I, I remember that uh, the skull neck, uh, necklace of heads and all that. Down that. Do I did not know about their children earrings. Yeah. 
you. Oh god. Oh no, 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 no. Hey. Hey, one of the oh what is it called? Oh I uh, damn it, I forgot the word, a special word for holy mounts? The gods ride? I probably I probably remember if I see the name. But one of the mounts is an elephant with seven trunks? Okay. Why does and, he not uh, have a health bar? Is it seven trunks <laughs> and mainly trunks? What the? Okay, just going to make a quick clip of that. And you're um, quick. Uh, Lion no, not of Ganesh. Apollo. Uh, not Ganesh. Ganesh, I know. I mean, a wonder, wonder gods ride. They have many nooses and many tusks. A white elephant. Ah. Liar of Apollo, gifted to Apollo by the infant Hermes, who crafted it from a tortoise shell. This is the first liar. Its ethereal music has the power to command the light hit of the sun itself. Radiates a warm glow at all times, even in total darkness. So, okay, so basically torches are now useless. <laughs> okay, and we ascend out of this place again. And yeah, I know Ganesh as well. Yeah, the, 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 the god of portals, I believe, is the accurate, most accurate one. Or doorways and such. Basically, I know that a lot of people uh, do not want to piss him off. You have broken the laws of Olympus. Yeah, shut up. Okay, I thought they were still going to be hostile. But yeah, Ganesh is one of the uh, gods that people just do not want to piss off under any circumstance because, well, you kind of need to be able to go through places and <laughs> pissing him off would, well, have you locked out of pretty much everything. No, oh, bloody And yeah, I should probably clarify. I like reading up or at least listening about all the religion times and all the mythologies. That's what it, it's it's kind of fascinating and curious. I do know bits and pieces, but I have no Protect way in any way expert. I'm not an expert. Yeah. Let's see. Let's grab that and that. There. Okay, and that's as much as we can get armored from this guy. Okay. And, uh, of course, there's a lot of uh, guards here in the market. Uh, the Holy! Hmm? Uh, let's I see. We'll be back on Earth before you know <laughs> okay. it. Let it be just like old times. Let's see. Fun fact, my name, my real name, is one of the 100 plus names Ganesh is referred to as. <laughs> okay, that would, been, that would have been hilarious if <laughs> just one of Ganesh's many names is Pizza Lover. Especially since I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have had pizza in those times. Uh, the better country, the better country, but they, they did have pizza already in Pompeii when it blew up. True, but uh, a sort that's a, a bit of a thing. Um, wasn't it? I think tomatoes were only discovered once. Uh, yeah, the Americas became known about. So the pizza before that. Is, what, is not what people think of. It was more like a sort of cheese bread. Yeah. With other stuff. Uh, hence or for the the elephant god I'm thinking about is is white. I think it was seven trunks, uh, the nose thing, and sixteen tusks or something. And, and I forgot which god rode him or her. <laughs> I'm tempted to make a joke there because. Uh, a lot Don't of uh, Hindu of gods. <laughs> a lot of Hindu gods have a thing for multi limb things. <laughs> yeah. Let's I... see. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> I'm probably gonna need to rewatch that video at some point. <laughs> Let's see. Mount Olympus, where they say is the abode of the gods that stands vast for fast forever or vast forever. Uh, neither is it shaken by winds, nor ever wet with rain, nor does snow fall upon it, but the air is outspread clear and cloudless, and it hovers a radiant whiteness. Therein the blessed gods are glad all their days. I think Homer might need, need to rethink that if you ever were to get a glimpse up here. 
Oh dear. It, maybe if Indra is an elephant that another god rides on as a mount of. I forgot to use them as a mount of war or not. So then again, if I see an elephant with that many trunks and tusks, I would probably mistake it for a creature of Cthulhu at first. <laughs> What's over here? Let's see, this is a, a barracks, okay. Not too sure if we'll want to break into that, because it's of course going to be stock full of soldiers. But I do want to take a peek in here. Oop. That might be the one. That might be the one. Al Alrava. Why might you just want to do an accent when say that? Al oh wait, that's my own accent coming in. <laughs> Al Why do I want to automatically rule my R there? I don't even know if this is my R supposed to rule there. Let's take a peek in here. Likely to get some, find some good loot in here. No, Indra is the god, the white elephant is the mount. Ar yeah, Arav yeah, Aravat Ta is the name of the mount. Even I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, I know there was, I think Extra Credits has done a video on, or videos on uh, Hindu mythology. And what Crash Course was it? I know another channel had a lengthy bit about mythology of many kinds, and presuming also Hindu. But I'm, I think it was Crash Course what they called it. Yeah, and buddy, I can't still get behind it. Forty plus religion in India. I did not know that, but that's quite a lot. Yeah, that's all to keep track of. Just take what you want and leave. I think in part that might be the clue. In the name of I, I think in part oh, yeah. that number forty might also be. For, wait, that's that's little thing is better than the sun disk. Also, that's totally not an overcompensating spear. <clears throat> it, okay, so this, this one has more health, but this one is bigger. Uh, let me see what I was thinking. I, uh, with religions, I think you. there's also how things are looked at. Like, I believe, um, how to word this. Uh, some people, when they see just any... Christian, uh, a Christian sect. I would be the uh, the good words. They would just just uh, uh, align that one to one with also being Christian. But there's just a lot of difference between different sects. So it might also just be, uh, yeah, that that forty is can be that forty religions can be narrowed down, uh, quote unquote, to. A, a bit a bit lesser by yeah <clears throat> uh, lessening out the yeah this the similar ones that would otherwise be would generally be considered sects of each other in that way not saying that yeah. that would be accurate but that is a way that you could fudge the numbers a bit yeah a oh, blood hey that's a lot okay someone of i never heard of Okay, I, I heard of e Hinduism, I heard of Islam, I heard of Christianity, obviously. Judaism, recognize that. Just take what you want to leave. Buddhism, yes. Uh, this, this free lost one, I never heard of. Uh, Jainism, Sikhism, I think Sikhism would be considered to fall under Islam. Uh, Zoroastrianism? <laughs> Probably butcher that. That one I can say I haven't heard of before. Uh, same as with Jainism. Yeah, the, uh, let's be honest. Good luck to have heard of every religion in mythology. There's so yeah. many out there. Uh, Sikhism is the people who wear the turbans. Okay, so close to uh, 
perhaps a ver if we have version of no not no not that not, not okay I, I think I, I think I made a big misstep there and it, that's calling it uh, similar to Islam might be wrong but yeah I'm no religion teacher or anything like that yeah uh, actually hmm. anyway team to break stuff here anyways now that I've offended probably like 60% of the world population. Let's just move on and try and find this key. Well, I don't think you've ended anyone really, except maybe a fanatic. So you all clearly explained you're not an expert. Yeah. Okay, and you already have the key? Or did that, did that jackass just run in there and lock the door behind him or something? <clears throat> but yeah, my, my, my big point reason on religion is... Uh, I don't fault anyone or hold it against anyone for stuff they believe, as long as they don't try to shove it down the other people's throats or for other ways uh, force their beliefs onto others. Yeah, I agree. Like, I have my own religion. I've accepted everyone else's. As long as they respect me, and I and I will respect them. But basically what Helen said, like, don't... Don't you... Uh, as long as someone is not forcing it upon someone else, I am fine. Yeah, as long as your religion respects human rights, uh, I'll respect yours. Oh, that's you. To put it, well, in the, probably the shortest bad. <laughs> uh, let's see, you'll be like Kali and go uh, down the throats yourself, lol. Oh, good God. It... I'm still getting over that some... I forgot his name. Some monkey king had opened his own chest to reveal he had tattooed his own heart with a couple. Yeah, it sounds like something Wukong might do. And again, that, that uh, ape is like immortal 50 times over because he raided uh, the Celestial Peach Garden or something. Oh god. As, as I, here's another thing about mythology and, and the old religion and all that. There are many epic moments you, be, you, you admire er, and many wisdoms. But there are also plenty of what the heck moments. Yeah. Like when the. The. Hin, uh, like. Like with Wukong, oh. it was known that uh, he was looking for immortality, and still they put him in charge of the peach trees that specifically grant immortality. Also, hello there in chat, the Sobi. I think I saw. Yeah, yeah I think you're, you're, I saw the color pop up earlier. Sorry for not responding yeah. earlier. I, I, I was to say, before, yeah, so so I was to say, say hello there, we got distracted. Hello, Sobi, and we're looking at an ape, and now. Oh, I know who that is. I think this is a friend of mine. Yeah. And I, I think I just found a tape here, tower, I, or something. I gonna, oh, not a minute. I'm gonna um, double check this. I'm gonna double check this. There. Get rid of that thing. Uh, let's see. I'd like to take uh, to take time to talk about Sylvanism. Have you ever heard of our Lord and Savior, the Blessed Mother? Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I've heard of Sylvans, but typically more in a fantasy setting and such, like plant, uh, plant, hello there, plant people and such. Are you a zombie? That was probably a zombie. Because this is totally, <laughs> this is completely not uh, safe area music. I, I need no bloody... Ports. I not, it does show more, but uh, I didn't show that. There we go. Okay, I'll, I'll use the torch. Yes. Uh, okay, they're wandering around blindly. Okay, maybe they're not a zombie. Maybe they're blind or something. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're the sons and daughters of the Pale Tree. Yeah, <laughs> Guild Wars 2. Yeah, and uh, if I remember right, you have met them. Uh, you also had be, another yeah. name back then. And they uh, have been here before. Also under another name. 
Which I may not say if in case they wanna keep that uh not have that revealed. Okay. Yeah, how, how are you doing, Sobi? I hope things are going well. Let's see, another one of those, and a dagger shield. A finely crafted shield and an attached dagger for powerful shield bashes. Wait, we can bash with shields? Okay. That's a very big area for a rather small shield. And I think I just heard someone die. Let's see. Oh my god, there are 330 million gods in Hinduism? What? Uh, did Zeus come to visit or something? And yeah, these are not harming us at all. Okay. Okay, what is going on here? Are they just blinded? Okay. Or wait, where the heck? We're still kind of this is still. I, for a moment, I thought, did I wander into uh, Hades or something? But no. Oh God! Oh, actually, reminds me. Uh, pizza lover. In future, the Kingdoms of End may actually finally get their own models in Warhammer Fantasy, or in <laughs> Warhammer Old World, as it will be called. And he actually is just called the Kingdom of One Thousand Gods. <laughs> I guess that finally ma that may finally make sense now. Mm -hmm. Let's see, yeah, he might have. It's the most gods in the religion. What could you, yeah? Yeah, he he asks if you can repeat that. Uh, I was say the Kingdom of End in Warhammer Fantasy. We soon have their own official models, uh, aka India in Warhammer Fantasy. Let's see. I see him there at the oars of his little boat in the lake, the ferryman of the dead, Charon. With his hand upon the oar, he calls me now. What keeps you? Hurry, uh, you hold us back. He is urging me on in angry impatience. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so these are wandering dead. Yeah, I just realized, I've been missing a lot of what's been happening in game due to be distracted by shaft <laughs> and other topics. Okay, so apparently Charon is hanging out in the sewers down here. What's this? A live one, hmm? You want to cross the Stygian River, you pay old man Charon. Once across, don't expect to ride my boat back again. <laughs> Not my place to pass judgment, only to get you to the other shore. Okay, I I totally can see. Oh. Things happening up above. The dead washed down like water to the river. Only some got coins to cross, though. The rest just have to wait. I, I can totally see Charon being just like a grumpy old man, sick of ferrying people to and fro. Stood on Charon's ferry, although all have sought favors from the master of the dead. You are the same as they, I guess. Lord Hades will welcome any audience, living or not, but first, you must reach the gates of his house. River Styx, with hatred of wrongs, you have me to thank for your crossing. Lethe, with forever sleeping oblivion. Acheron, with the agony of loss. Cocytus, with the wailing of tears. And Phlegathon, with flames of the pyre. Cross the five rivers of Hades, Cross the facets of death. I don't expect to see you return in flesh and blood, but seeing the spark of life again brings some color to this gray old land. <laughs> and, uh, okay, I'm gonna need to say this to uh, Mr. <laughs> Lover here. don't forget the Qatar. Uh, not, no, no. E not even two steps into Hades, and we already blew something up. Hail, it would happen regardless in game what game you played, but that's one of the things you usually do. True. Uh, let's see. Pizza Lover, yeah, you're gonna see some of the wildest shit like frisbee, spears, tridents, uh, tridents, tridents, oh, and also tridents. Yeah, there's a lot of tridents in Hindu myth. Maybe a mace or two. Okay. 
And yeah, so he's just is doing good, just popping by. Good to hear. But only heat then! Holy! Okay, no, of course there's skeleton warriors in here. Oh, uh, get that motherfucker. <laughs> and yes, I You're will not. say that whenever skeletons pop up, just for the joke of it. Get oh, back here, bony. Let me guess, you know the show. <laughs> uh, I only know the shows through the memes. <laughs> yep. I know the show friends do... Oh, what was the channel called? Gals... Oh, wait. No, no. I, I know of the show thanks to a friend had the toys. Then I learned of the show more thanks to... Is this like called Sacred Galaxy? Toy Galaxy? It might be. But they're talking about the toys and the shows. Yeah, probably Toy Galaxy then, yeah. Ah, damn it, trap. Give me that. Oh, yeah. They did that meme a lot on that episode about Skeleton Warriors. <laughs> it seems that we have plenty of them here. You are going to burn to death, yep. Yeah. yeah. And also, what I can say about India, from what I know, when it comes to weapon, ancient weapons, they have quite a variety there. Jewelry box, a shield breaker, champion, and a blast mine, and four skeletons in ambush. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Bye bye. Okay. Let's yeah, no. see. Oh. Alright, uh, I was to say, I also learned that they had, they, they had a very... Uh, uh, horrifying, but also kind of mean weapon when they fought the British. They strapped rockets to elephant and sent them rushing at the British. Okay. I'm oh, guessing more for explosion than uh, speed. Yeah, it's probably not my favorite. That that one also had horrifying. I, 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 I would probably stick to Tower Wars and Qatars. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah. People back then could go through some. Questionable extremes. Actually, no, we, we, we do still go to questionable extremes even today when I think about it. Yeah. Let's see. Zeus came to the bed of all nourishing Denator, and she bore white armed Persephone, whom Hades carried off from her mother. But why Zeus gave her to him? Okay. Get lost. Not fully getting what that that Stele meant with its story, like that Persephone was returned to Demeter by Zeus, but she's very much still down here, so that's not true. <clears throat> Let's see. Then she caused the most dreadful uh, and cruel year for mankind over the all-nourishing earth. The ground would not make the, uh, the seed sprouts, for rich crown Demeter kept it hidden. In the fields, the oxen drew many a curved plow in vain, and much white barley was cast upon the land without avail. So she uh, would have destroyed the whole race of man with cruel famine, and have robbed them to dwell on Olympus of their glorious rite of gifts and sacrifices. For she vowed that she would never set foot on fragrant Olympus, nor let fruit spring out of the ground, until she beheld with her eyes her own fair-faced daughter. Oh and yet, dear. I believe that's basically her response, her basically trying to blackmail the gods into returning Persephone to her. Oh, it's... gods. Uh, no, that almost sounded like a pun. Oh, no, unless uh, you remember some, another horrible animal cruelty thing that the Romans did. Who? No. Yeah, when, when Hannibal came with his elephants and all that, the Romans... After I had a br horrible idea, this, this actually worked, you're still horrible. They lit pigs on fire and had them run at the elephants. Yeah. I think firebirds have been used 
in war a good few times. Like, I think it was fire birds, fire bats, perhaps. Like, uh, I believe there is one story of... Yep, I'm just going back into the water with him. I believe there was at least one story of... Uh, I forget which region. I, maybe it was in the east, where a, some general requested the... Uh, had made a what seemed like a strange demand of a surrendering town or something with the birds or cats. Uh, I think it was birds. And, and then she, they bound rags to the birds, set those rags aflame and let the birds free. And well, the birds re returned to where they had been nesting, which was, well, the town. Wait, are you talking about... Oh, what was her name? This, this was in Eastern Europe. Oh god, what was her name? I don't know. Oh yeah! She, she, I, know, I know she somehow became a saint! Despite all those horrible things she did. The saint of burning birds? Uh, no, I forgot what she became a saint of. It just, I don't know it, when you think back, it feels almost uh, a bit like, like a horrible joke. And uh, all that from, uh, all of the stem from uh, uh, some two uh, minor uh, thingies in her domain for... Uh, I know it was uh, before Russia became Russia. Okay, so... And one of the, them killed her husband, so she decided to invade him, took the responsible one for murdering her husband, and um, she bent two trees, not snapped them, but bent them, tied I... him between the trees, then let the trees go. You could say she let it rip, him, him in half. That's actually what happened. Yeah. Uh, hell hath no fury, yeah? Let's see, pizza. Yeah. Uh, well, hey, listen, if I don't see Ganesh right into battle, right hitting his rat, I am not watching that Warhammer. <laughs> okay. I did, I did not know Ganesh rode a rat. That, that almost feels comical for people who used to associate elephants to be afraid of mice. But they act actually, they're actually afraid of snakes, just... When a mouse moves in the grass, it looks like a snake for an elephant. Really? Yeah, there's also oh, the fact that I believe elephants don't really have that good a sight. Huh. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's, be, let's be honest here. When something small moves in tall grass and you can't see it, you will, you usually will get nervous. If, is it a mouse or is it a snake? For most, yeah. they can kill an elephant. But yeah, for, for the people who didn't notice, there, I threw a Greek fire into the water, hoping to explode that uh, <clears throat> that cracked slab underneath. But it actually put out the fire, and I could pick it up again. Uh, that's that's just something I did not expect to see. Yeah, wait, it put out the Greek fire. So it is water from the underworld, so I guess... I guess we finally found something that can extinguish Greek fire? Yeah, and it's the the opposite of hell, not... It's the opposite of hellfire, hell water. Get uh, lost. Let's get from Pizza Lover. Is Mount Israt, the rat also being a, as big as well a great... Dane. As big as a Great Dane. Yeah, that would make it a bit more understanding. Though so just the mental picture of an elephant riding around on a r tiny rat is absolutely hilarious. Oh, gods. Oops, oops. Oh, hello. Sigil the Necromancer is something that we grabbed quite a while ago. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So there is stuff that is just going to be uh, very much Metroidvania-like. Like we find it in one area and can use it in another. Yeah, and necromancers were already a thing back in Greek days, but they were more of a, they summon a ghost, talk to them, then let them go back. 
Busy, you busy. They busy summon the dead to speak about the present and future and past. Okay. So it was less raising an army, more of. Uh, sorry, can I bother you a bit? What was the family recipe again? Could I, could I talk to you about our Lord and Savior? <laughs> Insert here. Get lost, you all. And then that the basically crown you use dead people to vote or something? No, Wait, more like but... attempting to convert the dead to your religion whilst they're already dead and probably in some other afterlife. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of... That's, I don't Redundant know. and stupid, which makes it funny. Yeah, it, it's a new level, just... Really, dude? Really? You're that desperate for new members? Uh, uh there's a pizza lover? Oh yeah, one of the Hindu gods lit the ocean on fire with oh uses something like oil that would float on top of the water, then burn holy. Mm, let's now, see. go to each religious underworld to get people to vote for you. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> that'd be something. Hello. Dogo? Dog Boar. 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 Making a note Flesh here. Mark. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mythology can uh, mythology can often be a really good uh, a really good source for inspiration with uh, games and worlds and such. And just also just animal and monster designs. Oh yeah, kind of kind of why partially what I like to do like I like to be inspired by it, but also to learn about it. I I even made a quote unquote a faction in Age of Wonders that was very much slightly Hindu inspired, like the quote unquote air quoting Hindu elf sort of is probably helped me to own how I learned own my own probably my only uh India word I question mark I think I know how to say Queen in India? Uh, okay. Is. I don't know what the language of India is, if it's just called Indian or what? I think it's called. Uh, hmm. You're putting a blank on it now. Yeah, it, uh, I think it, Sanskrit is the writing. I don't know if that's the language. Let's see, I'm, I'm guessing we need to go to the, the one that isn't marked, so our first uh, turn was the wrong one. Uh, boar... Uh, boar... Okay, so whichever is not one of those... Uh, dolphin, squid... Dolphin was missing there! Let's see, bull... Oh, that's, mm. wait, wasn't that a boar? That's a bull? Squid was marked, crab was marked. Uh, let's see, Sanskrit is a language, this is the oldest language in the world, and also a dying language is one of the eight languages I study. Okay. Uh, oh, bloody heck, you study a lot. Oh yeah, I should probably, mm. the, the word I learned is Rani? I, I hope I pronounced that right. Rani? This should mean queen? Uh, squid is missing here. But so might some others. Uh, let's see. Dog. Fish. Boar. I pronounced it correctly. Dolphin. Nice! Bird, crab, bull. So, find the missing one, which I'm guessing is going to be squid. Let's see. Yep, yep, you, get out. Okay, dolphins are not yep, that yep. one. 
BRB. Are they actually causing? No, they're hit, they're draining stamina. Okay. I didn't see horse. Oh, there we go. Cross the river. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, there's a whole lot of hidden area over here. I'm just going to keep exploring. Let's see. Oh, hello. Uh, from the grave, meet the necromancer in Hades. And for some reason, the pop-up appeared in the lower right of my monitor, not of the game. Rise from your grave and avenge us. Let's see. Bone dust recipe, powdered human bones, fragments of serpent teeth, and graveyard dirt make a forbidden necromantic spell able to, ra uh, to raise long dead warriors. Uh, hog dust recipe, striped feathers. Yeah, we already knew that one. Wait. Uh, we oh. may want to take a, a hill. We may want to double check that stream later and mark around where I had to be a bee. I, if, for <laughs> someone in the house called my name. Okay, I didn't hear anything, but I'll make a mark all the same. Let's see, 120-ish. Yeah, okay. I, I, I'd, rather be, I'd rather be sure. Okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> you just missed that we found the necromancer here, who gave me two recipes for free. We're summoning Ooh. skeletons and hawks. Nice. So that was definitely a good find. Maybe he could have given more if I hadn't bought some other recipes. But still, very nice reward all the same. Yeah. Let's see it from Pizza Lover. If you can learn how to say Raja, also you can easily say a bedtime story you say to make people fall asleep easily. Raja? I most know that as a name. Raja? Like, like, most time when I see a person from in India in movies, they seem to usually go to Raja as a go-to name, I think. Let's see. It's a name, but it means king. Okay. Oh, oh right. Yeah, that's right. I think the reason I knew is like when I went to storm school, I actually copied out a lot of pages with the names of other cultures. So I had a name list. So whenever I want to make a character, I have a list of names I could pick from. And Raja and Rani are in that list. Okay. It's just, yep, yep. I look away and I get ambushed by two skeletons. Let me just grab the armor. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it takes me a, a bit to, to get used to, to say uh, Raja. And yeah, I haven't heard it pronounced in a while. And of course, <laughs> they reassemble themselves. I, I will say this, don't ask me to do an Indian accent. Just the only one I can do is sadly a Pruse. Uh, the one from Simpson. Yeah. Mm. So I and I doubt if people from India speak with that accent. Let's see. Sun disk, another Sarisa, and infusion of electricity. And some spare armor. Okay, we've got a lot of armor now. We have it more than we have health. Okay, and I just noticed that our health pool has upgraded again. It was 105 at the start of the stream, I think, and now it's 115. I would say this. I, from I, what I have heard of actual Indian accent, I kind of... I like accents. And I do think Indian accent is a nice one, but I do also agree that some people have mocked it a little bit much. But I do think it's... I actually think it's nice. Then and I also did fall in love with a certain song. Uh, Tunak Tunak Tun. 
I don't know what Toon Lacktoon Lacktoon means. And the story behind why song. it was made is pretty funny. I think I've said it before, but it's, I think it's worth repeating. But basically, he made that. Basically, his detractors or rivals, whatever they said, that uh, the only reason that his music was doing uh, sold well was because of the attractive women in the music videos and such. So he just decided, okay, fuckers, I'll just make a video with only myself in it. And then he made just one of the most popular songs, well, not one of the most memeable songs in history. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I think I missed the part. Who, who did what now? Uh, he uh, he made a video with uh, the reason he uh, the, the reason he only made the video with himself as characters in it was because his rivals and such were t saying that the only reason his music sold well was because of the attractive women in the music videos. So yeah, wait, he decided, wait. okay, fuckers. Wait, who did it? The, the, the singer from that song. Tune like tune. Like yeah. I I'm did not know that. I'm pretty sure that's not the name of the singer, but more the title of the song, but yeah, that, that's the story behind that. Uh, let's okay. see. Okay! Da -da -da. <laughs> da -da -da. Lol, no, don't worry. I've been bullied for my accent a lot. Even now, I get bullied for it. They were made fun of, so don't I don't make people say it. Uh, or encourage them to do so. It's a funny song, even Indians find it funny. No Indian is gonna get mad at you for that song. Tanuk Tanuk is literally just a sound, not an actual word, okay? <laughs> All right! <laughs> now, it's let's... a damn, damn good one still. But the souls of the to... dead... <clears throat> The souls of the dead are not dissolved into the breezes or into mere bones at the last. Anger abides and grief endures. Okay, so basically vengeful spirits. And let's see. I think we have only one more river to cross. But I'm still going to go exploring. For stuff like here. Oh dear. I feel this episode we've been yeah. learning a lot about the... Uh... Ancient Greece and ancient India. <laughs> and now we have the stereotypical broom head, <laughs> broom hand uh, helmets. Oh God! Okay, we got a good amount of money I again. can give you an example. It's okay. Warning: I'll be giving my best trying to do an Indian accent. I'm pretty sure it's going to be horrible. For the only. Hello. Yeah, you, you, you hear yourself. It's, I am not proud of this. But I will try. Yeah, like, like, this is an attempt. And I doubt this be good. Oh, I'm just gonna avoid saying a certain phrase. Give me that. Oh god, just not seeing that face actually will make it harder. Okay. Uh, oh god, I, I realize I, can, I, I probably can't say it without saying the damn phrase. Hello, welcome again. <laughs> now, so, now if you're angry, if, I know I have tried before with pre proper sentences, but now I can't. Let, let's see. Hear me, O death, whose empire on uh, confined uh, extends to mortal tribes of every kind. On thee the portion of our time depends, whose absence lengthens life, whose presence ends. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty good life. Did, did one of these skeletons just get exploded across us? Some, for uh, somehow there? Oh, sure. I thought you stepped on a vase. Uh, oh, milk of moly. I thought it said milk of holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> There's more of the molly roots, I believe. Let's see, what have we here? Uh, yeah, I, my I, voice I'm... deeper. Yeah, again. Pooh is sadly enough the character I heard the most from. So, we, and I'm pretty sure a poo from Simpsons is not the best example. Yeah. Another one. For Hades is mighty in holding mortals to account on the earth, and he observes all things and within his mind inscribes them. 
Okay, there's more this way. Uh, never mind. This way. But I, I don't know when I have heard proper Indian accents. I have liked it. I have never mocked one who has it. And also, go. awesome beards. 150 for that. Okay, I'll take that for sure. Let's see, and the rest is just going back into other places. So let's head for the last of the rivers. Okay, down. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I had done some thinking about pa about doing some uh, Assassin's Creed games. I was originally thinking maybe to start at number one, uh, but I think I'll be a lot more uh, picky with the games, perhaps. Because one of the games that I want to play uh, worth in stream for that is uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, the, aka the Greek mythology one. Oh. Okay. Holy. Rising fire. Hey, yeah, he's getting a bit toasty here. Yep. Uh, let's see from uh, the Yeah, characters like a poo in shows is is just all right now. It used to be a problem here because it really was offensive, but it's not really like the roast of that Indian person, and it's only show showed in that context like Family Guy. Oh god, I hate Odyssey and love it at the same time because it gets so grindy. Yeah, from what I heard, the uh, Apu, uh, I haven't, I, I don't really watch Simpsons or most shows. I missed me. <laughs> uh, but one thing that I have heard is that uh, Apu used to be quite different. And he's supposed to be a lot worse nowadays, though I also think they just don't really show him much anymore anyways. Yeah, Probably like... because people found him, started, yeah, found him offensive. So can't say if he started out that way, or if that's more a recent thing. I think they tried to give him redemptions a bit as well. But yeah... I was in Novin due to a. When I was in Doom School, I used to have, have Simpson play in the background when I played uh, on my PC. Okay, that's going to be a death because this fucker won't fuck off. Yeah, but yeah, Simpsons used to be on a channel that is that occasionally played Simpsons. Okay. Okay, uh, one of you read. Wait. Was that the first death in this uh, episode? Yep. Ah. Well done. Okay, let's go for something heavy hitting to hopefully knock away enemies. Yeah. Since I don't think we'll oh, have time I think to I just actually go something. for a kill. I think the first time I saw Apu in Simpson, I heard his name. Oh, oh come on. That's... I did not know he was supposed to be Indian. I thought it was a Middle Eastern. Okay. Says, blame cool. Disney for a certain monkey. <laughs> uh, Aladdin's monkey? Yeah. Well, so I, also a poo. Yeah, so I made a mistake there when I was younger. But as I got older and realized, oh, that's an Indian accent. I realized, oh, it might be an Indian name then. But then, uh, after that, I didn't think too much. I just wondered. Uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm not a Simpson fan, but I'm not a hater. Do I don't? Uh, there has been episodes I have found funny, but I do feel like they started to go same route as Family Guy. Like Family Guy had some good early episodes, but even yeah, it's. Uh, and now there's also just American Dads, which I believe is even worse still. Yeah, they even they didn't lose. They had a, maybe one good season of Cleveland show, but before it also turned bad. 
I don't know, do you want to meet Simpsons? Whenever they make a new show, like, for drama air or Disenchanted, it's damn good! So I have heard that those who do animations for Simpsons are themselves tired of Simpsons. Okay, so like it's more a case of uh, executives being responsible for the bullshit. Yeah, for the... Probably I heard, but, uh, but others told me what the Simpsons team has themselves themselves is that they... They seem to hint that they are being feel burnt out and so and that they have to scrape the bottom on a barrel just to find something new and funny. So, uh, yeah, when they get something like this disenchantment and for drama, new source of new comedy they can do with new characters and all that. Like I that. guess you could say they are disenchanted with their uh, bosses. Yeah, uh, probably. But uh, yeah, but I guess you can say when they get a new show to do with new characters, it's a fresh of breath, fresh air. Yeah. Also, like, hello they there, can Marco. do something new. Oh, sorry, go on. Uh, Marco in chat. Oh, hello, Marco. Yeah. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm just going to move over to the door, and then I'm just going to read what uh, Pizza has been saying. <laughs> That's one spear gone. Yeah. Shut up and get a sweater. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a random one. Did no time for you, since the skeletons just get back up again. Uh, f hello, another one of those. Uh, let's see, characters in uh, like a Poo in shows. It is alright. Uh, let me scroll up a bit over here. Uh, it's just alright now. It used to be a problem here because it really was offensive, but it's not like they roast that Indian person and it's only showed in that context, like Family Guy. Uh, oh god, I hate Odyssey and love it at the same time because it so, gets so grindy. Yeah, it, it. I would say it's still one of the better open world. Uh, <laughs> No, uh, yeah, Ubisoft games, and I, I, I just really like that they actually have a lot of actually good side quests and stuff for you to actually do. Uh, let's see, and the Pooh is really a great name. It's pretty original, uh, since I haven't heard that name. Uh, if you add an N to a Poon and make it a, a, a poo and make it a Poon, it means me or myself. Like if I were to say a Poon like pizza. Uh, let's see. Why, hello there, Marco. Today, uh, I greeted Marco before Drake here. Doing well, just finished a game as a co-host of sorts. Okay. <laughs> what game and who were you co-hosting for, Marco, then? <clears throat> okay, I said this bit. I have been laughing many times, just... My mic is random when it picks up my laugh. I think my... I like this new mic. But the other one was a bit bad, it's sort of ish. But the old mic was better at picking up my laugh, though. And, oh bloody heck. I just remember, it has been a while you. Uh, something made me laugh and lay under the table. Oop, skeletons. And. God. Yeah. Bloody. Do you remember how you almost killed me with a horrible pun during <laughs> Brutal Legend? Uh, don't really remember, no. Something about <laughs> a metal age? <laughs> oh, right, that. I, probably, I think it was one of the first jokes I freaking made or something like that. It, I'm sure, I think it might be second or third, but yeah, I think you, you ended up taking a little a Half break, waiting for me to catch my breath. Okay, okay now, 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 I, now I want to go find one of those meme templates and just go uh, three pictures, then putting them in order, like the Bronze Age, the Metal Age, and then the whatever age came after that. And the first one is just a drawing from like the, the Bronze Age, the second one is like a heavy metal band, and then just another <laughs> picture that fits the last one. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm going to need to remember that one. 
Anyways, welcome, in Marco. We're playing a Potheon, which is a 2D, uh, very stylized, uh, very stylized Greek mythology Metroidvania. Though it's a bit of a light on the Metroidvania part. You, you send me to hell, and now you follow to mock my spirit. I will oh. rather squeeze in the light from your eyes. <laughs> and that's the first boss we fought. So let's just put him into the ground again. <laughs> Hey, I was the long ball of coffee. Yeah, I've been having a bit of coffee today. <laughs> oh, God. Don't need the torch. Come on and sit still and let me put you in a second grave. Wait, what? Wait, look at him. Yeah, uh, which piece of him? You made him land on his neck in a very <laughs> awkward position. <laughs> it looked like you punched him in a cartoon. Uh, uh, let's see, Marco. Oh. Uh, nightly nights, and we finished Persona 1. It was long and tough, and we ended up having to use cheats. Let's see, it's always nice. Uh, to my heart to see other people, especially friends, laugh or then be happy. Okay, I've, it's, I, did, I, I know, I know of course that there were a Persona one and two, but I, my knowledge of Persona only starts with three. Uh, there's also four, which I've seen multiple playthroughs of. Actually, I think I've seen at least two of Persona three as well. One of the original, and one of the FES version. Same with Persona 4, just the normal version and the golden version. And yeah, I, I still want to stream Persona 5 at some point, but that is just really going to be a long, long, long term project with yeah, the freaking guides. Yeah, I have Persona 5 and, and, and I, I end up because a friend kept the. Uh, yeah, friend, several friends kept recommending me to buy it. So I bought it, tried it, uh, and I enjoyed it. But I realized, oh no, I'm gonna need a lot of guide for this one. Like, I did use guide for Digimon uh, 1 and Cybersleuth uh, 1 and 2, but those were on spoiler guys, and it wasn't not too bad to use those guides. But for Persona? Oh boy. Let's see, Marco, the average time to best Persona 5 is 120 hours. Now, now I now I kind of want to see people speed run it and see what that 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 is going to be at the very least still 60 hours or something. A mortal in flesh <clears throat> brings his warmth to my cold halls. To what do I owe the pleasure? We cannot return your loved ones to life. It has only brought trouble in the past. Whosoever comes into our domain remains forevermore. No. He comes to ask for the return of spring to the world above. He bears the same sadness in his soul as my mother, Demeter. Zeus has severed the links between mortal and divine. The seeds of spring are forever buried underground, regardless of my will. But perhaps it is time to relinquish my powers of renewal. It is, after all, what keeps us apart for so long, my husband. A strong sprout must break through the hard earth to see sunlight. But many more are trapped in the ground forever. Which are you, little seed? Seeds of Persephone. The seeds of spring, long dormant under the earth, require a mother's touch to bring about prosperity and growth. Also, with the just with the uh, fonts this game uses, I when I <laughs> when Hades' first line came up, I almost read it as my cold balls. <laughs> 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 I'm guessing he and Persephone are too busy in the bed then. No! 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 Anyways. Persephone almost breaking her spine trying to keep eye contact. 
Uh, let's see. <laughs> Mark the load of speed runs. Uh, Pizza reacting to the joke. Uh, Marco, I watched two of them and it was funny to break and watch them break the game. Okay. Uh, Pizza Lover, I need my site to recover because I thought he said balls and not all. So we are on the same page to that. <laughs> You've returned? And with the gift of Persephone as well? I sympathize with your plight, Nicandrios, and I commend you for your courage. I do not wish to see your people die, as Zeus decrees. Once before, I was nearly the cause of your extinction, and it has brought me nothing but remorse. In some small way, perhaps this will atone for my wrongdoings. With the combined strength of spring and growth, go and bring life to lands where I cannot. And now we get the oh, sheath yeah. of the meter again. Uh, now again yeah, she as well. She <laughs> almost at least almost accidentally did uh, cause extensive of humanity once before due to uh, with the able Hades thing. Yeah. Sown, ripened, and reaped by the goddess of the harvest, this golden bundle of plentiful grain carries the power of renewal and growth. Food items, re food items replenish 50% more health as well. Let's take that, yeah. And there we go again, just taking the heavenly st <laughs> the, the, the heavenly escalator straight up. And that's another statue ruined. <clears throat> also, uh... It's just a small, a smaller thing. With the meter, if you put a space between the D and meter, then her name would be just be well, the meter, like a, a speedometer or something. What? Because D, like D and E, means is the in Dutch. Oh, fun. Oh. And uh, pizza. Well, I'll be playing my wizard game. Just uh, Wingardium Lapio Osha. <laughs> People into getting brain damage. Or that I should introduce her to the business end of this weapon, but I will. Uh, let's see, Marco. You guys want an explanation of Persona One in Greek mythology? It's Pandora's box, literally. Okay, I, I knew that's either. I I know in. In either Persona 1 or 2, you get to kick Hitler's ass at, uh, at least once. But I do not know the general story of 1 and 2. Hey, put that away. So yeah, go ahead, Marco. And have fun with... Uh, <laughs> have fun, yeah, pizza. Uh, it's going to sneak into... You have broken the laws of Olympus, Patron. Yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, well. Don't hurt me. Yep. Okay, yep. See, that, that's a bit much. Somehow, I would not be surprised if that's a bad ending and you... Causing bad ending by the violent to the gods. Now, I don't think there are multiple endings in this game. There we go. Okay, so long as we just deal with the ones that are nearby, the rest will leave us alone, it seems. Because we had it earlier when we assassinated one of the guards. Let's see. Uh, let's see, that's two where you fight Hitler, okay. Yeah. I I really want to do. Yeah, I really do want to play. Yeah, Persona. Wait, but the door is sealed. Okay, I do want. Really do want to play Persona Five, but it's just that that it requires such an enormous investment uh, for every run of it, which I I know is kind of the kind of the also the appeal of it that you well you need to get invested in the characters and such. But I, I don't really want to have to spend like 60 hours on a run that's going to lead to a dead end. Uh, okay. Yeah, and like... In Demon's Service, I was okay if I used the guide. 
as I did the screenshot of them and all. But the game is not not on a time limiter. Persona mm. 5 is on a time limit. Yeah, this is all I all of the ones from three to five have a, a rather soft time limit if you decently know what to do but still it's it's just a bit of a sort of uh uh sort of damocles that's just hanging over your head the whole time that you know, you could you could end up having to redo all of it again like five times before you can get to actually f well finish the game um <clears throat> yeah Let's see, you are cordially invited to the Symposium of the Sun, an exclusive gathering of Olympus's finest members, hosted by Lord Apollo the Radiant. Okay. Is that um, a key or something? Hmm. Nice little find. And let's see, Marco, specifically Persona 2 Innocent Sin, since there are two Persona 2s. Okay, so basically they did the... Uh, director's cut thing with persona 2 as well there's basically all of the personas to my knowledge like, except for maybe the first Intruder. yeah intruding my spike into your skull oh dear <clears throat> okay now there is Okay, what does does that mean that we have the key? If a door is shown like that. Let's see. Hmm. Trying to clean the ceiling? Yeah, trying to see if there was a point to jump through, but no. Which means that we'll have to pick this lock. But they're going to get annoyed at that, I believe. Hmm. See, does the blacksmith have any new upgrades? I'm afraid you already have the strongest armor I can make. You'll have to find a better blacksmith than myself. Okay. And, well, I think we can take a decent guess at who that blacksmith might be, because there is just <laughs> one quite literally divine blacksmith on this mountain. Just need to find him first. Hmm. And we need to go back to the gates, it seems. I was going the wrong way the entire time. I am somehow not surprised. Oh, my lungs. And from the feet so weird, often laughing so much. Okay, hmm. return to the village. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's still a few places to go, though. Poseidon, Ares, and Athena's areas are still there. So this is probably the midpoint of the game. I have played through this before, but I mem my memories are blended. On your knees, trespasser. I have watched five ages of men rise and fall, each generation more flawed than the last. I loved you long ago. But how low you have sunk. You disrespect the laws of Olympus. You forget your place in the universe. For your mortal failings, I turn my back on you. I had hoped you would pass with quiet dignity like those before you. But instead, you spit at my feet. You have the audacity to invade my kingdom, attack my children in their sacred homes, and steal the might of the gods for yourself. These powers you have usurped are the privilege of the divine, and you are not a god. Welp, that could have gone better. Wait, yeah. what's that hair on the tail? Yeah, that was Hera who basically backstabbed us or sold us out. Why are they doing this? Should not be surprised. And things have not been good down here, it seems. By the rod of Asclepius, I never thought I'd see your face again. 
If the gods were ignoring us before, they're certainly paying attention now. Not many of us made it up here once the earthquake started, but I've been doing my best to tend to the wounded. Gods, help us! Oh, yeah, great. That must be Poseidon's work, since he's also the god of earthquakes, I believe. That just I eat it of man. Soras was more than three times. Okay, I believe the Aztecs have the mythology that there have been four, uh, uh, four or five ages of men before them as well. I think. I think it's four. That's uh, currently we are on the fifth generation or something like that. Anything hidden down here? Pulls a rock out of the ground. Okay. Just kill him with a poke on the ass. Okay. A bunch of glass jars. Nice, but not really that worth it. Okay. Well, I. Yeah, I'd say that all of this is, well, all the more reason to go climb up Mount Olympus again and kick Zeus out of his overly, you know, <laughs> over-designed throne. But, really, if... Something on that, if he has seen for... Uh, yeah, if, he, if he's on his fifth damn try and still not satisfied, I'd say it's a, a case of the creator's fault, not the creation. Like, put in some damn effort, you... <laughs> Yeah, you nudist <laughs> god. Uh, we need to get over that. Hmm. We're under it, maybe? God, help us. I don't think calling for them is much is going to help you much now. Why are they doing this? Hmm. Okay, where do we to go oh wait there's more over there okay so that we are supposed to go oh. this way oh sleep well marco uh yes see you next time marco uh, so let's see the funniest thing to me is that a recurring character in the persona games is called phil yes phil okay waited a bit too long there there we go already. I'm afraid we can't give you much of a parade just yet. The sky opened up like the mouth of Zeus. Then those bastards came down on us like a swarm of vultures. And the crown split apart like it was struck by the hammer of the gods. We didn't even stand a chance. I saw the temple collapse with my own two eyes. Uh. But also something on that, like, if it was Zeus and the gods getting killed off in mass like this, they would definitely not sit still and let it happen either. So, yeah, another fuck you on that to you, Zeus. Yeah, it is. Not many gods are in disagreement with him. If you want to turn this into a fight like that. There. Okay. Yeah, the ranged enemies can be rather annoying like that. They'll keep trying to run away. Which makes sense, of course, but doesn't make them any less annoying to deal with. Okay, that effect is them taking a potion of some sort. Okay. Uh, um, are you alright, miss? Oh, there you go. There we no, go. She's no longer st Never mind, she's stuck again. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just keep on going. We can't help these people much. Best we can do is to go back up the mountain and kick the other gods down. 
blast mine, a new hammer, pick hammer, whatever you call it. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Pizza. The moment I thought I was getting an attack back, but this is the attacker. Me? <laughs> Uh, yeah, these are quite a bit tougher than what we faced so far. Uh, he says, Come here, too. Uh, those are Cyclops. Uh, yeah, well, I would explain the size. I... Yeah, I would explain the size. And it seems that our. Potions have also gotten a 50% healing upgrade. <laughs> Lucky that there's no friendly fire on these characters. Mm. Uh, first, let me explore around here. Let's see, pizza uh. by, by Mark. Uh, I used to, when Guardian gives you a spell, to lift a big crate and drop it onto an enemy skull. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I think she is just having a little fun time vibrating on the edge there, murder tear. <laughs> oh god. They're murdering everyone, and the ones they haven't killed, the sea is swallowed whole. Oh god, where's a cask of wine when I need one? Yeah, you might have wanted to save on those a bit. Oh, he's coming with us. Okay, better. Okay. okay, this is the way forwards. Better than a hint just lying around drunk. Though we would much prefer it that way, I believe. Now you're intruding here, dumbass. I just. Poke him in the dick with a spear. There we go. Oh, and I think the hunter just got killed. Oh, well. Yeah, let's see. There then, indulge your insolence. Keep on resting from the gods their honors to give them to inferior creatures. Prometheus bound? Okay. And that just leads back. Hmm. Uh, let's see what we're on time. Yeah, going to stop soon. Uh, I'm going to take a look over to the right first, though. And then we can save the game and, well, find whatever's going on at the yeah, at the temple next time. Oop. Oh no, that's a helium level of a joke in chat. Yeah. I should heal. Come on. There we go. There we go. Uh, let's see. I want to see a cyclop with a scythe just so I can loudly yell, hey, it's a scythe clops, and then proceed to get cut in half by it. <laughs> uh, you have my approval for that one, pizza. Okay, and what we find is a load of loot. Give me those. Okay. I'm going to go back to some smaller, uh, to some weaker weapons, just to save the strong ones. Oh dear, and... no, now my stomach is acting up, and my throat. Okay, sounds like just the perfect time to go st <laughs> stop in a second then. And... Mm. Uh, I sort of <laughs> think I have one of those that... It starts very slow and mild. But I do feel like it stopped. It, it has gone to the coughing phase. Whatever it is, I have. Okay. And whoever you want to suggest uh, we raid, just put them in chat, Pizza. And I'll take a look once we're done in a sec. This guy hits hard. And uh, don't worry, uh, it's just. 
a mild sickness. I'm not, I don't have anything dangerous. It's, it's just annoying. <laughs> then straight away, cow-eyed Mistress Hera, with her extended palm, struck the earth and spoke, Listen now to me, earth and heaven wide above, and you titan gods who dwell beneath the earth around great Tartarus, and from whom men and gods descend. You yourselves now listen to me, all of you, and and grant me a child uh, apart from Zeus who in no way uh, weaker who is in no way weaker than Zeus in violence but let him be as much superior in power as white seeing Zeus was over Kronos okay and there was the timer going off so let's at least get close to the temple here okay and oh, wait what you press lost save well, I guess we're doing this again, then. <laughs> oh, love of all, Hillian! Okay. Uh, okay, what? Why the hell would you have this here and without a conf confirmation selection? Uh, come on. Like, it's it's nice to have a checkpoint, a loaded checkpoint, but really, put in a confirm on that. Yeah. Uh, oh well, at, at least it's not too long. So let's make extra sure to save. And yeah. Okay. Let's head on over here, quit the game, and go look for someone to raid so I can move this <laughs> forwards. Okay. Uh, over to Twitch. There. Change the screen share. And I see someone is poking me uh, or poke me on Twitch for something. For now, though, let's take a look here. So, oh, a good amount of people online at the moment. Uh, but first, let's take a look at Dark Knight Luigi. Let me double check. Yep, browser is muted. Uh, ta -ta. Two case, Knight Luigi. Let's see, they are streaming Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2. Okay. Um, but just All to, right, really just to cover everyone over here as well, we have Dr. Mason the Stood, who is streaming Persona for Golden. A bit fitting since we were talking about Persona earlier. Reef the Leaf is playing Breath of Fire 3. Nico Silverado is continuing with Volcanoids. Pika Girl 220 is. <laughs> I've stopped calling the numbers. Uh, Pika Girl is playing uh, Pokemon Scarlet Violet. Chubbers the Moonseal is back in the World of Warcraft. Lashrus is playing Freedom Planet again. Theory Pop is playing Lost Train Home. Nice with Animal Crossing. Radio Dead Air is streaming with XCOM 2. And the last two, we have Smoops and Nonsense with Product Zomboid. And Halloween, who is playing Prey. Is that the original or the arcane one? Yeah, this is the arcane one, which originally was going to be called Typhon, I believe. Okay. Any of those sound good to you, Jakir, uh, or shall we go raid uh, Dark Knight Luigi? Uh, let's raid that for I have no condition picking. If I feel like I need to turn off the PC soon, brush my teeth and all that. Okay. Okay, copy name. Then we head to our place. Okay. Slash raid and paste. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Pizza's doing their outro. It's been fun chatting with you. Same with you, uh, Pizza. Hope, you <clears throat> Hope you'll have a nice day further on. But for now, let's see. Yeah. Thank you again, Pizza. Thank you, Marco. And thank you. This uh, Sobi. Hmm? Uh, Sobi, thank the you as Sobi. well. Uh, any lurkers? Uh, oh, hello. <laughs> Trio Jack is lurking. Hello there. And a name that I don't recognize, so I'll have to run them through a bot checker. If you are not a bot, sorry about that, but you know it is with Twitch and bots. And as always, thank you as well, Rakir. You work as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining this madness. <laughs> yeah, Opposion is a decently short game, so we might be able to finish it next week. 
Uh, but we'll have to see about that. And after we're done with Apostion, I want to return to Dave the Diver and Dredge, because both have new content, and they even have crossover content. So, I don't know if Dredge now also has Dave the Diver content, but at the very least, Dave the Diver now has Dredge content. <laughs> It's gonna be interesting to see that. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. And well, Dredge Dred at the least has uh, that new DLC that came out a while ago, so that'll be nice to look at. But yeah, for now, tomorrow we'll have Showcase Sunday. In the evening, we'll catch up on <clears throat> Dawn of War Retribution, since we couldn't earlier today, due to uh, something I was helping out at. But yeah. Uh, beyond that, just let's get that raid started. And yeah, thank you again for watching now or later, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls. And Hades is cold balls. <laughs>